So we had a question about conditional probability and intersections because the formula seem to be related. So if we start with conditional probability, we have the probability that A given B is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability of B. Now, you're noticing that, well, this seems awfully familiar, close to the formula of probability of A and B equals the probability of A given B times the probability of B. Now, you should notice they seem very related because they are. They are in the exact same equation. They're just rearranged. So again, these two equations, that's the exact same equation. They're just rearranged. So depending on which textbook you use, some textbooks learn about conditional probability first. And if they learn about conditional probability first, they give you this formula and they rearrange it to get over here. So we would take this formula and we'd say, well, if we want to rearrange it, we times both sides by the probability of B. We times this by the probability of B to both sides. So we get the probability, I'll write it in the same order we usually do, probability of A times B, the probability of A given B times the probability of B equals the probability of A and B. Notice this is what we have over here. Now, if you are in a class where you start on this side of the equation, then you just divide both sides by the probability of B and divide by the probability of B. And voila, you have probability of A given B equals probability of A and B over probability of B. So notice, either way, we can get back and forth between the same equation. It's just rearranged. Now, you have the question, well, like, what if we plug something in here. Okay, so let's say we come over here and we have probability of A given B equals probability of A and B over probability of B. And we say, well, what happens if we times both sides by the probability of B? So times this by the probability of B times by the probability of B. Those do cancel, like you said. So we have the probability of A given B times the probability of B equals the probability of A and B. And you're like, well, but this, is, that's just equal to the probability of A and B. Well, that is true. So now my statement reads the probability of A and B equals the probability of A and B. That's like finishing an equation in algebra that you now say 3 equals 3. Well, that is true. Congratulations, you just proved that this is true. So, again, two different equations. They might seem different, but it's the exact same equation. We just rearranged it for whatever we we're actually interested in in that moment.